hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started okay then go to your file menu then you select new or you press ctrl plus n for sh the shortcut key then we are going to the print over here and the paper size we are going to use today is a5 paper size then change it to inches leave your resolution at 300 and this is for social media so i'm going to use rgb color code and if you are going to make a printing for eden make sure that you choose CMYK color mode then for printing. So now I'm going to click on grid. So this is our working area now. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy the color code I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then this is my test document. So I'm going to copy this Ctrl plus C to copy or you can right click then and copy it. Okay, now go to your fill color, then you select solid color and you can right click here and paste it or you just press ctrl plus v to paste so now we move further and the first thing we are going to do after this then we are going to our resource file and i'm going to bring this background here then i'll take it up here okay and i'm going to change the blending mode to soft light you can see the differences so there is a light there okay so now the other one i'm going back to my resource file and i'm going to import this background here then click ok why i will change the blending mode to color dodge then this is the outcome of it and the next one then i'm going back to import this one over here and I'll bring this one down to this position somewhere here. Then and I'm going to change the bloody mode to multiply. All right. So something like this. Then I'll leave this place because I'm going to create a rectangle at the bottom here. Then I'm going to import this image over here. Then take it up. And I will drag it over here, somewhere around here. Then I will change the blending mode to luminosity. Then and the opacity, I'm going to reduce it to 60%. Then apply your layer mask and select your gradient tool or brush, anyone we want to use. Then I'm going to blend it like this. Okay, then the next one go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this light here then i'll position it over here then and i'm going back to my resource file and also i'm going to bring this image over here then i'll position it somewhere around here and i'm going to change the bloody mode of this one to hard lights something like this then the opacity i'm going to reduce it to around 64 percent something like this it's okay then and i'm going to create a rent angle at the bottom here something like this then leave it white background now we are going to import this light over here then take it to this position and we are going to change it to screen then to have a light effect over here then this image i'm going to drag it to this position like this all right so 
now i'm going to bring in my test and copy this one Control plus c to copy then select your test tool or you use t on your keyboard then Control plus v to paste we are going to change the font color to white Then, and the alignment, we are going to centralize the alignment this way. Then position it at the center. And we are going to increase the font size a little. This way is okay. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it down to this position somewhere around here. Now select your test tool. Then highlight it, Control plus A to highlight. And I'm going to make a copy of this one, Control plus C to copy. Then Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the fonts to align signature. So I'm going to copy this one. Then go to your font over here, then you paste it. Then I'm going to select it something like this then i'll go back to this one also i'm going to change the font of this one then to this font here railway semi bold so this is the font now i'll come back to this one and i'm going to increase it this way and let me zoom out to see the outcome of it. All right, I'm going to increase it a little. Okay, so it's okay like this. Now I'm going to zoom in. Then increase the font of this one. All right, now come back to this one. Then go back to your test. I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. And we are going to paste it. Control plus V to paste. Then and we are going to change the font to Beba's new board. Then click here to paste it. So and over here is the font. Then we are going to increase the font size. Then and the character spacing, we are going to reduce it a little. Something like this. I think this is minus 40% is okay. Then I will increase it this way. Then Control plus zero to zoom out. All right, so click like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a red angle here. Then change the font to, I mean the color to red. And we are going to bring in our test over here then you copy it control plus c to copy select your test tool and control plus g to paste and we are going to change the font here to this coinbase sans the control plus v to paste and i'm going to select a simple one so that is a light one first let me position it and see how the outcome so now i think i'm going to make it bold then select the bold one now we are going to reduce the size okay so right like this so the next I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to my resource file and I'm going to import this light here. Then I'll position it over there. Reduce the size. Then change it, the blending mode to screen. Then I'll position it like this. Okay. So the next I'm going to do now then is the date and time. So I'm going to copy this one, control plus C to copy. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle this way. And I'm going to change the color to dark red. This is okay. Now I'm going to draw another rent angle around here like this. Then this one I'm going to create, create a shape to it. And I'm going to make the color brighter than the other one. Like this. Then increase it this way. Something like this. Now I'm going to import icon for calendar. And I will reduce the size. Now go to image, select adjustment and pick view and saturation. Then you drag this one over here to change the background color to white. Then we are going to select this one, the date and the calendar. Then use your arrow key then to bring it back. This was okay. Now we are going to reduce it a little, something like this. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font from bold to light. Then I'm going to select my test tool again. Now I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to alight this one. Then apply superscript. Okay. Then I'm going to change the font of this one to a vertical copy it then come over here to paste it control plus v to paste then i make make it bold now we are going to increase the font size something like this Okay, so having done this one, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a rent angle like this. Then leave the color white. And I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then take it up over here. Now we are going to drag this one. Hold your shift key to drag it. Now I'm going to, ch to change the test over there, pick your test tool, and I'm going to alight this one, then change the letter to 8. Then you click OK to apply it. Then use your arrow key then to bring this one down. Alright, so then I'm going back to this date. The rent angle and the date then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then i'm drag i will drag it up over here then select it hold your shift key while you drag it over here now i'm going to delete the date 
why I'm going to import the time icon and I will reduce the size then you position it inside here and go to image adjustment hue and saturation then drag it over here then to change the background color or you can use ctrl plus i to invert the color then i will reduce the size then select it hold your shift key to select the rectangle then apply vertical and horizontal alignment to centralize it now we are going to copy the date so first copy this one and i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate drag it to the top now we are going to move this one then to this position then select your test tool and highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Now we are going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And I'm going to take it up over here. Then hold your Shift key. Then while you drag it over here. Then we are going to highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight. And we are going to paste it. Then highlight this one and we are going to reduce the size of that AM. Something like this. It's okay. Then I'm going to create a rent angle over here. Then we are going to change the color to black we are going to our test document then highlight this one ctrl plus c to copy then we are going to select our test tool or you can use t then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font to Coinbase font. Then you bring it over here. And we are going to increase the size. This way. It's okay. Then I'm going to reduce the rent angle size or you you can leave it this way now i'm going to use my arrow key then to adjust it all right then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it up over here and move it to this side and i'm going to select my test tool then click to highlight it then go to your test here and make a copy of this then ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your test to copy this one ctrl plus it to copy then what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then I will drag it up over here. We are going to move this one then down to this position. And we are going to alight the test and change the number to 6. Then we have replaced it automatically. Then use your arrow key then to bring it back. Now, so I'm going to select this one and the rent angle. I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then also drag it up over here. Now select it and move it to this position. Then we are going to select our test tool, 
then highlight the text inside then go back to your text document and uh, we are going to copy this one now ctrl plus v to paste use your mouse then to move it and position it over there we are done with this so the next we are going to do now we are going to select this once then ctrl plus g to group it then you can now adjust it okay so having done this one then ctrl plus a to select all then we are going to make it vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect then we are going to grade the rectangle now so over here then we grade the rectangle like this And this rectangle, then we are going to import these images. Then reduce the size. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Then adjust it. All right. Then hold your shift key while you select it and duplicate it. Now we are going to move this one then to this position. Then delete the image, then import this image over here. Then right click and create a clipping mask, something like this. So we are going to All right, we are done with this one now. So now I'm going to group them together this way. Then I'm going to select it. Then right click and I'm going to scale it. Something this way. All right. Then come over here and I'm going to create a rent angle. like this right then go to your filter or oh, what i'm going to do now i'm going to to rasterize it then and i'm going to apply layer mask then select your gradient to why i'm going to then blend over here something like this it's okay now i'm going to great bring my test to then click over here and i will copy this test over here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste all right now i'm going to increase the font size and position it over there then use your arrow key then to adjust it something like this then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you bring it to the top here. Now move it to this position. And we are going to flip it horizontal this way. Okay, now use your arrow key then to move it forward. Something like this. All right. Now we are going to hold our shift key why we select this one then and centralize it okay so having done this one so the next we are going to do then we are going to our test document and bring this light flare here then we are going to change the blending mode to screen reduce the size and we are going to rotate it vertical then now adjust it 
something like this now i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then you position this one over there duplicate again then i will position this one over here then duplicate it again and now we position this one over here so something like this so the next thing we are going to bring in the names the first one i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then we are going to change the font color then to black and increase the font size a little so seven percent is okay a control plus v to paste so the test is here so i'm going to drag it up to the top okay so now i'm going to adjust the name then use your arrow key then to move it up this way now we are going to duplicate it control plus j to duplicate and we are going to copy it ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight a ctrl plus v to paste so we are going to duplicate it Okay, so we are done with the names now. So the last thing we are going to do now, then we are going to bring location tests address and copy it. Control plus J to duplicate. So what we need is the rent angle shape over there. While we drag it to the top here. Then you bring it over here. Import the location icon. Then we are going to reduce the size. Then go to image adjustment, hue and saturation. And we are going to drag here. So like I said before, you can use Ctrl plus I to invert the color. Now select your test tool. And we are going to paste it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then we are going to change the alignment to left alignment. Something like this. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Now group it, Ctrl plus G to group, or you can drag it over this button here then to group it. Now, then we are going to go to select go to select select all now apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back to select and deselect that is control a and control d so that is it then we are going to increase the location the size of the location so that it will be both to be seen to something like this all right now the next we are going to do now then we are going back to this test over here and we are going to increase the size all right so okay like this so having done all this one now so the last thing i'm going to show you now is how to apply camera raw filter okay now hold your shift key plus ctrl key plus alt key then you press e to merge all the layers now you can see this layer at the top now so select it go to filter then select camera raw filter 
So wait while it load. All right. So as you can see, it's over here now. So we are going to play with these settings here, then to adjust the effect or the type of color we want. So you can see how it changes. So now we are going to slowly adjust it then to create a beautiful then background or a beautiful design to it. So this one now, you can see I adjust it from this position then down to somewhere here around minus 14 to 15 or anywhere you want. Then this one now, the tints, I'm going to adjust it this way. They're not that much. Then maybe 12% is okay. Now, so the constructs, then you can adjust it to the way you want. So, so I don't want it too much. Maybe 11% is okay. Then shadow, I don't need it. Then I'm going to this clarity, then to adjust it a little bit. It percent is okay. And this one also the hairs I'm going to adjust it this way is okay 23%. The vibrance that I'm going to also increase it a little to around 8% is okay. So something like this then I'm going to click OK to apply it. So you can see the changes now. Now turn it off and on then you can see the differences now. So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe and like and share. So I really appreciate the following. Thank you guys.